It doesn't matter that only 21 of you voted. More power to you, man. And by the way, 21 is a Fibonacci number. So, super cool. Let's have our intimate, small, powerful crypto pack. You voted for 7 random coins. I say yes, let's go and welcome to Cryptasic Park. <laughs> Thank you for still being a part of this video. Let's make this fast, simple and effective just by I like it. 3, 2, 1, go. Algorand. Daily chart, our first coin. Of course, everything is daily chart. Of course, everything is versus the ultimate nemesis, American dollar. So what about it? Well, how about this downward sloping line of resistance that is doing what? Breaking out in the last couple of days. This could be something big, a start of a new journey. But still we need to be careful because don't remember, there are still many lines that will show you that we are in a severe downtrend. For example, something like this that is so far away and is still making us a downtrend in Algorand. The good thing is, if we connect this support points we are getting in conjunction with this resistance, a falling wedge, a bullish reversal pattern. The price is getting squeezed and squeezed and squeezed with lower volatility and then pop out. Now I would like to see this pop out to be a little harder for a real breakout, but it's still a valid one. Let's see how this reacts and the most importantly, let's see what will happen when we come to this line of 144 days of exponential moving average. So on every chart today we will be using this one, 144, no reason, it's a big one, it will show the direction. And let's not play smart. From this point we were super bearish, we are below it, and as long as that is the case, stay careful. A big retracement, or let's say a bounce, could come all the way to those levels of 1.16, where this moving average is, and we will still be bearish. So, microfractals are happening in the bullish case, but overall Algorand is still bearish. Just one inch to the upside doesn't mean much. This is one inch network and of course, just by the look of where it stands regarding that moving average, it's bearish. From that point, in December of last year we were downtrending to the downside and we are not stopping. As I said, just because we moved you can see that we are right at the resistance line here and here and if we move to the lower levels it's a clear line of resistance. One inch is traveling now for months in this downward sloping line and downward sloping channel. So a bearish trend is established, be very careful, still is not your time if you are a one inch investor. From 149 to $2.20 we could bounce and still be rejected. So overall bearish. Curved up token also one amongst the many of bearish trend. Here you see that we broke below 144, making it now a significant resistance. That line is at $3.24 and our price for now is at $2.11, so very very bearish. And here you can see that we bounced a bit making it support, this was a bullish time at the middle of December of last year. But since that point, I mean that point, at the beginning of January, we were in a severe downtrend. And make no mistake, that downtrend is still in play. As you can see, resistance, 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 I got a tongue headache. Resistance. So right now, I must say, nothing significant is happening. because. We could be just bouncing down from these levels because we were met with that super important line of resistance in CRV. Now this is a good thing. One huge ass falling wedge. In my book, this one eventually, maybe in a few days, maybe right now as we speak, who knows, we are right at that line if we break it. Kaboom! So, curved out token is still bearish, but it's moving inside this bullish reversal pattern. So. We'll see. Start watching the charts, but stay on the caution side. 
I'm not even expecting something big from any coin that I'm reviewing today. This is Dash. Of course it's bearish and look for how long. All the way since November. When we clearly fell below 144 explanation moving average that's today is standing at 129. Really no explanation on words are needed. This is a bearish looking chart. Look at this blue line of resistance. Yeah, we are now right at it. And maybe you can see that price is not gonna leave this area. Maybe we're gonna break it. We don't know yet. What I do know is that we are moving now for quite some time. It is huge parallel channel to the downside. Maybe now is the time to break that channel and start a new story. For now we are bearish, but we'll see what comes next. In my language, kava as this coin means coffee. So, is this looking like waking up? Well, not really, it's bearish. Now you know that principles of TA, we are below 144. And uh, yeah, look at this huge downfall here that we had in January. We are below that moving average, 144, that is standing at $4. We are at $3.18. So, even if we go to that $4, we could still be rejected and continue to the downside. But that's about all the other markets about Bitcoin. If everything else becomes bullish, so will Kava. If you want to draw a downtrend like this, taking into account this point, or even like this, I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's still a downtrend. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't break this trend line. This floor of $2.94 here, 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 yeah, significant lines. Don't break that and maybe you have then a chance to continue this era of downtrend. For now, of course, we're bearish. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, I know many of you like this coin. This is Elrond and although it is likable, it's still in a downtrend. 144 exponential moving average is making a significant border that we passed in December of last year, around those holiday times, Christmas times, and since then are traveling in that bearish manner. Now Elrond is forming something very interesting to me, and that is symmetrical triangle. You can see that price is having those lower highs, but also higher lows. This is symmetrical triangle, and just because of those higher lows, it could break to the upside when you break. Maybe with that line of 144 EMA joined together with those resistance lines of this symmetrical triangle, it will do a kaboom to the upside. Now, those could break to the downside or to the upside. You know what? I will make a bet of going to the upside when the time comes. Still, will moving in the pattern. Still, this is dangerous. Still, a lot of indecision in the markets. But just by the mere fact that we are below 144, Elrond is also bearish. And this is one chain. Now, yes, of course it's bearish, what do you think? But at least one chain is trying to break 144 exponential moving average with those weeks, right? Well, that's something. I like that. I like that resistance, that resilience that one chain is showing. And it's making those higher lows into that important resistance line. So one chain is now at 47 cents. That resistance is at 58. Unfortunately, we gotta stick to the facts. And until one chain break 58 cents, it's bearish. But you know what? Not so bearish as you might think. As I said, it's already finding the resistance. And it broke this downtrend. Look at this line. Resistance here, important resistance here. But here the things broke out of control. We are no longer in that primal downtrend. We could be in some consolidation, but one chain is at least showing a chance of life. So all this area is not looking that bad. We are making a progress. We are far off any altcoin narratives, but at least somebody's trying, right? If you enjoy this, why not watching this one? In here, we also analyzed seven different coins from the random hat check out which ones maybe you like them or also you got nothing to lose come on thank you for sticking around it's a cryptic park